This is a real room. Man, I just love the floors and... Yeah. Yeah, it brings back memories, even though this is my first time being here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it, it, it's true. Our natural habitat. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs>
I think what we're doing here today is is to trying to uh, show the beauty of uh, a room like this. It's been put together so carefully. But I want this to be a fantastic go-to uh, place, like a destination studio for people from everywhere, including myself. The other great thing about this room for me, it's seven minutes from my house. <laughs> oh, was that uh, was that enough for you guys? You want to you want to do hear a little bit of a playback, like sure, yeah, you know, just a few bars at. back, just for the heck of it. To, yeah, man. They'll give us an idea of what we're doing. Definitely. <laughs> Man, uh, awesome. That's great. I had the drum doctor, Ross Garfield, I had him bring some things that I don't usually get a chance to play. He brought several pieces that I uh, inherited and a few things that I bought from Emil Richards, the great Emil Richards. He played on just about every film you've ever seen. Where they won't normally uh, fit into a normal recording session, this will showcase the room and it'll be fun for me to play those things. We had some really eclectic stuff that I'd never put mics in front of before. And I had Jim Keltner and Abe Laboreal, so it sounded amazing. It's hard to mess them up. It's perfect. Everything you do, every sound you make, you're getting exactly what you're playing. That's what we're looking for in a room. So excited to be here at Silent Zoo.
That's some rock drums there, man. I'm proud of my grandson. <laughs> Cut. Oh, no. <laughs>